Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Welcome to the Game 2 yet again. This is the last time though. I've already beaten the game, gotten both the endings, seen all there is to see, except for the Dollmaker quest. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be attempting to complete the Dollmaker tasks. The Dollmaker is a guy that shows up at your apartment, basically asks you to find young women in the apartment complex for him that he can turn to dolls. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do, so we're gonna go ahead and do it in this video and see what happens. How do you play this game again? All right, we gotta get sky break and right. It's been, it's been like a week since I played, so I'm gonna try to remember how. All right, so I've ordered the Lulpy disc, which you need in order to access that computer and find out which residents live where for the doll maker quest. I don't know if the breather's here or not. Usually you hear him giggle a little bit. <laughs> that kind of thing. Sound, sounded like Skeletor, but I didn't hear him this time. Oh shit! There he is! What's with this? Whoa! What? Oh, there's like a stamina bar! Do you have to time it? Why is there a stamina bar? Ooh. Get a life, dude. Why is this mouth breather still out there? Hmm. How many times is he going to try to get in here? Hmm. Leave. Leave. Oh my god, leave! Do you leave? He took a couple steps! Is he gone? I'm not falling for that. No, 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 no. No, we are staying in here. We are staying in here. I'm not going out there. No. It's not happening. Okay, I think it's safe. He left. I picked it up. Don't. What? I am going to review that footage. He was not there. What, did he jump over the fence? He left! I heard him leave! Ooh. What? Whoa! 
whoa, 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 what? He killed me in the hallway. Are you serious? Help me. <sighs> He didn't actually leave. Again. No, 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 why? There it is. The Lulpy disc. We got it. We freaking got it now. Let's initiate the Dollmaker quest. There we go. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I'll show you the full sequence. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's got a bloody handprint on his vest. I didn't notice that last time. Power immediately goes out. Oh, my door was unlocked. Oops. Turn it back on. All's well and good. Don't need to worry about anything. Good evening. Hello. I believe you've seen my work. I do hope you like it. However, I'm afraid this visit is not for pleasure. You see, obtaining the girls I seek for transformation has become... Uh, Increasingly difficult, and I, I cannot risk my work by searching for new flesh myself. So, you will provide them for me. Find me a woman in this building and mark the door. I will do the rest. When I am ready for another, you will know. Do not fail me. Do not test me. And I will spare your life. Time is ticking. I left the marker on your door. Thanks. I like that he knocks me out, but I don't lose any time. Okay. So, here's the marker. It's just a little doll head. So now that we have the lulpy disc, we're gonna go downstairs. Check out the computer. And find... This insatiable little man. This unrelenting, malcontent little bozo. Some women under the age of 30 that live in this apartment complex. I don't feel great doing this, but it's not real. So I guess at the end of the day, I'm okay with it. Okay. Watch out for Noir. As soon as they appear at the doorway here. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. There we go. Hacked. Just like that. So easy. Okay. Let's look around. Floor 10. Brennan McGee is clean. And also, they're 43. 1002. Reese Beasley, 25, has a pet turtle, works as a nurse in the nearby hospital. Could be female. But also could be male. Not really sure. 1003, Brendan Fox, 43, has severe body odor. Who is this gossip queen that mans this desk during the day? 1004, Jordan Dalton, 21, is currently out of town for family matters. We'll be back at the end of the month. Rent payment expected to be made on schedule. So they're out of town. They're not home. 1005, Deacon Woodward, age 40, usually late on rent. 1006, Darren Alexander, age 37, is a registered sex offender. Okay. Well, nobody on floor 10 that I can find. Let's check out our own floor. 801, Ashlyn Rangel, age 27, studying for PhD, always pays on time. 801 is, I think, the one that we want to go for. 
802, Hillary Rocha, age 40, pass. Works out a lot, always takes early morning jobs. 803, Clint Edwards, hey, that's me. Age 29, very quiet individual, sticks to himself, pays rent on time, no issues. Oh, I'm just a really well-behaved goody-goody, huh? Little do you know what I do when I moonlight as a deep web hacker. 804, Tommy Mata, age 36, rarely comes out of apartment and is socially awkward. Okay. 805, Ronnie Park, age 29. In the last three years, he has a friendly, beautiful wife that I ever met. Okay. But since his wife's death, he never goes outside. Oh, okay. Just slid that in there, huh? 806, Bria Lozano, age 35. Often comes drunk at night, has a lot of bruises. That's not good. So we got 801 so far. Floor 6, 601. Nash Hun, age 83, veteran. Well, that's not what he's looking for, I don't think. 602, Dana Steele, age 38. Clean freak, really weird. Leaves shoes outside door. 603, Hallie Nicholson, age 22, is a night owl. That seems like a woman will... We'll, I mean, Hallie, I mean, who knows? But uh, yeah, that's one we'll make a note of too, 603. 604, Richard Vincent, age 21, for sure not getting their security deposit back. 605, Tommy Ryan, age 43, has two kids, boy, girl. 606, Dia Marquez, age 24, always has shady people around. Um, You're one to talk about being shady. Front desk, 501, Fletcher Salazar, age 38. Probably a meth addict. What do you mean, probably? What are you basing this on? 502, London Morales, age 41. Very nice, always brings down cookies. I see where your priorities are. 503, Miriam Schwartz, age 29, neglects house maintenance. So 503, 603, 801 are what we got so far. 504, Eric Tucker, age 51, currently overseas. Too bad. 505, Lucas Holmes. I hear strange noises coming from the apartment at odd hours. I have received no complaints yet, so it seems there is nothing to be concerned about at the moment, but the noises, I have never heard anything like it before. Is this the hitman? Is this Lucas Lucas? 506, Mason Santiago, age 73, walks with a limp. All right. Floor three, 301, Rosemary Holt, age 36, watches adult films very loudly. Mm. 302, Micah Patel, age 59, sleepwalks. How do you know that? Do they sleepwalk out of their apartment? Down to the lobby during work hours? How do you know that? 303, Claire Holloway, age 18, works late nights and always pays rent with cash. There's another one. 304, Jack Ferguson, age 51, wants to move two flights up. Okay. Well, I want a pony, Jack. We don't always get what we want. 305, Larissa Clay, age 19, carries her chihuahua in her purse. So we got two on floor three. 306, Carlos Moon, 64, creeps out female tenants. I guess you've received some complaints. Floor one, 101, Hudson Raymond, age 25, divorced. 102, Noe Willis, age 33, aspiring singer, plays piano all day and signs. 104, Alice Shaw, 18, is a flute player. There's another one. Alden Chambers, 56, always wears gloves. 106, Leah Chen, 28, always orders takeout, never leaves apartment. So we got 106 and 104, I think should be our first victims. Uh, 104 is right here, so that might be a good one to start at. 106, Let, let's, go, let's go 104, okay? I, ah, the noose, do you see that? It's a noose at the top. I guess we are kind of sentencing them to death. Okay. So, we'll just let the doll maker kill them. And, uh, move on with our night. 
Oh! What? Oh! 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 That was a close one. <laughs> the door's closed, though. Is it counting this time? I mean, I hope so. Ugh. I didn't like that. I like how he had his arms crossed, like, sup? Oh no, did I get hacked? I'm not connected to the internet. Nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What? I've never seen the noir in the alleyway before. They are appearing everywhere. Hmm. I don't like this. They're really after me, aren't they? Okay. Okay, I got two things. I got a second motion sensor and I got something else that allows me to hear audio from my computer while I'm AFK. Figured it'd be good for Lucas because we'll be going up and down the stairs a lot. There it is. Got it. So now I'll be able to hear from my computer even while I'm AFK. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I got both motion sensors up. I got the motion alert and I got the earpiece. I'm not actually gonna be looking for codes in this video. I'm just gonna be doing the doll maker quest. So I think I'm pretty much set. And I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I can just kinda hang out. <laughs> it's on the inside! What, you want me to do another one? Okay, I can do another one. Let's see, 303. This one is, I wrote them all down. Claire, age 18. All right, well, let's go back. And we'll just wait around a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I guess he's done. Okay, um, let's go put on another, let's go put it on another door. <laughs> oh, he's done. I got really distracted. Okay, um, <sighs> so, I've run out of time a couple times. <laughs> he just keeps going and going. I'm not sure if there's an end to it. Let's put it on 801 though. Oh, look at this. It's my channel. Hey, Danganronpa. Welcome to the game too. Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Welcome to the Game 2.0 once again. It was recently updated with a subtle cue. Actually, it that's that's really loud. I don't know if I... I want to be able to hear things. Lucas hasn't come at all on this run, so I feel kind of silly for buying the motion sensors, but... Yeah, he's not here. It's weird. Hey, I remember when I beat Welcome to the Game, the original, and I got the secret endings? That was some good stuff. If you like this, if you like this video, if you like this game, you should check out the original videos, too. Ah! Oh! 
Oh, that makes me so mad. It's ridiculous. Just kill them already. God, just sitting here waiting like an idiot. Hmm. Okay, currently I own every item on the zero day market. Um, but I haven't gotten the achievement for buying everything on the zero day market. I have one of each. I don't know if I was supposed to only buy one backdoor hack or what. But this is like the third time I've bought everything on the zero day market and I still don't have the achievement. Just an aside while we're waiting for the doll maker to get a freaking move on. He's taking his sweet time, isn't he? I'm just reading these web pages to kill time at this point. This dude's talking about how if you have a loved one pass away, you can send the body to him and he'll preserve it in formaldehyde and send it back to you. I think it's the same dude who wrote the cleaning services one where he talks about how to dispose of a body. That's that's my head cannon at least. Whatever. What the fuck? I thought I heard a scream. That was the doll maker killing the girl. Or, well, I say killing, but. Hmm. <laughs> Finally. <sighs> what is that, number four? There we go. Let's see if this'll do it. Well, it's 3.59. I put the marker on a door about an hour ago, and I haven't heard anything. So I don't know what's going on. He never came. He usually comes like... He usually comes every 40 minutes, it seems, to collect. He just never came that time. So I don't know what the deal is. I can, I can usually get it to four. I can uh, shut up. No one's helping you. No one's coming to help you. All right, just get over it. You have a, Do you have any idea how difficult it is to save you? Um. I can get it to like four victims, but it's like every time I try for the fifth one, I run out of time. All right, I finally broke down and looked up the ending to the doll maker quest, and get this. There isn't one. <laughs> I probably should have looked that up before I decided to make this video. But yeah, apparently you get five victims and then that's it. And then you get an achievement that says you satisfied the doll maker. Uh, so that's it. There's no special ending, no special sequence or anything. We basically experienced it in its entirety, almost. We didn't get the fifth victim, but like most of the time when you put out a hit, uh, nothing happens anyway, except he knocks on your door, cackles, and puts the marker on the inside, which, how does he do that? Even if it's locked. Even Lucas has to lock pick that lock, and he's a professional hitman. Very odd. So yeah, um, I'll post this video anyway, just because there's some interesting stuff I experienced that I hadn't shown before. Like, all that stuff with the breather. Um, I finally figured out what I was doing wrong, by the way, in those earlier clips. You're supposed to wait after he walks away. You're supposed to wait. Because if you pop up, apparently he knows that you're there and he stays around, then you're just dead. So, I didn't know that. But uh, I figured it out after a while after like the third or fourth time it happened. Uh, let's see, what else have we not experienced in the game? I think that's it. Uh, it's just the fifth Dollmaker victim. So yeah, I think I'm done. 
Uh, I wanted to ask you guys a couple questions while you're here. One, are you interested in seeing a death montage of this game? Because I'm thinking about making one. There's a lot of deaths. I've died a lot. And most of them are different. Um, and second, you're okay with not seeing any other videos of this game, right? Because there's nothing else to see. The original Welcome to the Game received a rather sizable update a couple months after it came out. So I'm hoping maybe there will be a free update for this one at some point, in which case I will definitely revisit it. But until then, I'm done. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.